The 2019 season at Maranello was a very banterous season, where Ferrari seemingly threw away every possible good opportunity they had and tried to throw away any opportunity they took, with countless errors and some misdemeanors along the way. But what about the 2020 Formula 1 season for the Scuderia Ferrari team? Will it be any better than the embarrassment that 2019 was? Or will Ferrari continue the trend of being an absolute joke? Well, in today's video, I'm going to analyze and predict how Ferrari are going to get on in 2020 and whether they will improve and whether they'll actually get closer to a world championship. Now, before I get into the video proper, I just need to clarify a couple things. The first thing is this video is not going to be massively serious. Because let's be honest, we're covering a topic and a team that isn't that serious at all. And when I go race by race and through every part of 2020 when predicting how Ferrari are going to do, it's not going to be the most serious predictions you're ever going to hear. And a couple of them might be a bit of a joke. But knowing Ferrari, they may come true. So you know where to come back to if they actually do turn out to be true. So with some of these predictions, please do not take them so seriously because, again, we're not talking about the most serious subject in Formula 1, are we? But essentially what I'm going to do is look at testing and every single racer predict what Ferrari are going to do in that particular weekend. But I don't just want myself to do this, I also want you guys to do this in the comment section down below. So list me every single race of the season and tell me at certain races what you think Ferrari are doing. Again, remember, you don't have to literally predict what's going to happen. It can be a not-so-serious prediction. And if enough of them are funny enough, then I'll do a follow-up video and we'll read out some of yours in a kind of fan-fiction type of way. And one last thing I need to clarify before we get into these predictions is my opinion of Ferrari's World Championship 2020 hopes. Do I think Ferrari have a chance of competing for the Drivers' or Constructors' Championship in 2020? Oh, hell no. Hell no. To the no, no, no. And I think that settles it. But anyway, let's get into it. And we'll start off at pre-season testing in 2020 in Spain, where Ferrari are once again going to be the pre-season testing and winter champions of Formula 1. Just like they were in 2019, and we saw how well that ended up, the car will be quick out on track and look very good on track, to the point where Autosport will proclaim Ferrari as the favourites. It just looks fantastic on circuit. It does what the driver do, wants it to do. They can carry the speed in. Mid-corner, it's great. The traction's great. Wonderful over curbs. The Ferrari for the past two years has looked really good on track. But this is it doing the same thing, only more so, you would probably say so. And even when something does get a little bit out of shape, it comes back beautifully. They don't lose a, a huge amount of time. So, yeah, Ferrari's got everything it needs. It's got the car. And they'll talk about that so much in 2020 that you'd think if Ferrari don't win the championship, that the championship itself is rigged. But then, of course, we know exactly what's going to happen in Melbourne, Australia. It's Valtteri Bottas who wins the Australian Grand Prix! What happens is Ferrari get absolutely spanked by their big rivals, Mercedes who not for the first and not for the last time sandbag over testing and completely wipe the floor with Ferrari. But at the race the week after the Australian Grand Prix in Bahrain, Ferrari will get their first race victory of 2020. And not only will it be their first race win, it will be a 1-2 finish. The reason I'm predicting this is because Ferrari have been, ever since Bahrain appeared on the Formula 1 calendar back in 2004, Ferrari have been clearly the best team at this track. And I don't see that being any different in 2020, so I think Ferrari will get the result they were threatening to get in 2019 and 2018 as well. In Vietnam, who knows? We've never raced there before, of course. But at the final race before the European season gets underway at the start of May in Zandvoort, we go to the Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai. And this will be a very, very important race because it's the first real track on the calendar where we'll get to see not only from Ferrari, but all the teams aerodynamically how good they really are. 
and it will showcase whether Ferrari have improved compared to this time last year on the deficiencies of their car. And if they are somehow, some way going to challenge for the World Championship, this will be that first big test. The next race then is Zandvoort and who knows what's going to happen again because we haven't raced there since 1985. But the race one week after that one at the Spanish Grand Prix at the Circuit de Catalunya should offer clear confirmation of how good aerodynamically the Ferrari car is. And whether over the course of 2020, despite Ferrari's inevitable cock-ups on strategy and other things like that, whether the car itself is good enough. And we know if it's going to be as bad as last season or worse, then Ferrari are completely dead in the championship battle. And this will only get confirmed, of course, at the Monaco Grand Prix. But at these certain races from Shanghai to Monaco, three of the four tracks in this period of time, of course, you have to have a good aerodynamic balance. Will Ferrari in 2020 actually have that? They should do, and they should have definitely a better car than they had at that period of time in 2019. But because it's Ferrari, I don't think they'll learn and they'll have just as bad of a car. And it'll be 5 tenths to 7 tenths of a second off the pace aerodynamically. Again, they should produce a better car. But because this is Ferrari, do you actually think that's going to happen? This is the same team who has kept Inaugurada employed for way too long. So by the time we get to the Spanish and Monaco Grand Prix, I think Ferrari are honestly going to be out of the title fight. Even if their car's better, they're not as good of a team as Mercedes and Red Bull, and I don't think their car will be that much better anyway. But if their car has similar strengths and weaknesses to the 2019 car, then the next two races after Monaco should be a small, strong part of the season. That is Baku and Canada. Now, Baku is a racetrack where Ferrari have always been good, but have never got quite the result they should have. And it's just a testament to how poor Ferrari are at getting the results on the day of a Grand Prix that they haven't had a race win at Baku. For example, in 2017, Sebastian Vettel lost all emotional control and used his car as a weapon against Lewis Hamilton. If he didn't do that with Hamilton's headrest issue, Vettel wins the race comfortably. Then in 2018, Ferrari completely destroyed Sebastian Vettel's good work by putting him on an awful strategy forcing him to get desperate, lock a wheel, and end up off the podium. And then last year, Charles Leclerc bottled a chance at pole position and probably the race victory into the castle section in Baku. Meanwhile, Sebastian Vettel was way too slow to even be considered the race victory. How Ferrari have not won the Azerbaijan Grand Prix is honestly a mystery. And I think once again, Ferrari will be strong at this Grand Prix and they will have good pace, but... It's Ferrari. You know they're not going to win. And if it is a chaotic race, we know Ferrari are probably going to be the ones starting it. And I think they will cause chaos in Baku instead of actually getting the result they should. And I think the chaos this time will be Sebastian Vettel doing a Roman Grosjean from 2018 and crashing under the safety car. It has been done before, as I just said, but it hasn't been done by Ferrari yet. And it is still on their bucket list and I'm sure they'll want to tick that one off. Then at the Canadian Grand Prix, Ferrari really should be gunning for victory there and they will be very strong because they always are strong in Canada. And I think Ferrari will avenge that lost race victory from 2019 and get back to winning in Canada like they did in 2018. And I think the race winner in Canada will be Sebastian Vettel. And then we come to the French Grand Prix and to be honest who knows what they're going to do here and who really cares. The French Grand Prix is a race that should not really exist. The race after is Austria and that race again Ferrari historically do go well there. But as we've seen in the last two or three years Ferrari tend to have a very good car there but they don't get the result. And I think in Austria, they will have a quick car and I think they will have definitely the pace to end up on top at the end of that weekend, but they just won't do it. Either because of bad strategy or the drivers making mistakes, but I just don't think they'll win that race, even though they probably will be quick. At Silverstone, I am predicting a massive bottle job of some sort. I don't know exactly what it'll be, but I think they'll bottle it in an absolutely enormous fashion. Let me know in the comments section down below what would be an enormous bottle job for Ferrari at that race that 
maybe we haven't seen from them before. And once we get to the final race before the summer break, the Hungarian Grand Prix, I think Ferrari, by this point of the season, if they do like I predict, haven't got that good aerodynamic balance at the start of the season. By this point of 2020, they should be making progress on that area. And I think in Hungary, they'll probably surprise us. I'm not saying they're going to win the race, but they'll probably be on the podium, even though they probably won't have the pace to do it, just like in 2019. And that completes, of course, the first half of 2020. And in the second half of 2020, things don't exactly get better. The first two races, of course, after the summer break, Spa and Monza are normally good racetracks for Ferrari, but we know that that doesn't mean they're ever going to win. I think at Spa, the pace will be probably not as good as it was in 2019, but still very strong, but they will bottle it. I'm predicting Spa to probably be a wet, dry race, and one of their drivers in a promising position will crash out. That driver, I'm probably going to go with Charles Leclerc on that one. But then at the Italian Grand Prix, I think Ferrari will, just like they did in 2019, win their home Grand Prix. Because let's be honest, they've got to give the home fans something to cheer. Because being a Ferrari fan in the last couple years isn't exactly the most heartwarming experience, is it? As disappointment is normally a very strong feeling upon Ferrari fans. And that then is the end of the European season. And then we come into the final few races. The first one being Singapore, where I think Ferrari will yet again surprise us just like they did in 2019. And I think they will win the Singapore Grand Prix. And I think Charles Leclerc will get the race victory that he probably did deserve in 2019. Then in Russia, I think it will be a Ferrari victory. Another racetrack where Ferrari somehow have not won. In 2017, for example, they locked out the front row and lost it all at the start. And last year, they were leading so comfortably and lost it all yet again. So this time, I think they will get the win and I think it will probably be a 1-2 finish. But going into the final five races, I don't think you can expect that much from Ferrari because at this point of 2020, they're really going to be concentrating a lot on development for 2021, of course. So races like Suzuka don't expect much. I think the best they can do is third place. At the US Grand Prix, again, don't expect much. They're probably just going to get a podium at best. And even a race like Brazil, again, podium at best. But there will be points at the end of that season where Ferrari still will have some good, promising positions and, of course, throw it away. And I'm predicting the two teammates and their rivalry to come to an absolute head at the Mexican Grand Prix. Where I think, just like at the start of the 2019 race, they will be 1-2, and two, leading the pack away with, this time, Vettel ahead of Leclerc. And then what will happen is Leclerc will get frustrated, try to pass Sebastian Vettel... And then both drivers will crash out of the Grand Prix from a 1-2 position. And that will just cap off Ferrari in 2020. And then they'll probably end the season in Abu Dhabi just like they ended it in 2019, finishing off like the clowns they really are. Now another thing I need to clarify now that I have done those predictions is also, of course I don't know how quick the Ferrari car is going to be, so I am just guessing. But I don't think, honestly, in my opinion, that Ferrari are going to be massively better in 2020. And because the regulations are stable compared to 2019, they're probably going to be about the same. So I don't think those predictions, to be honest, are that crazy. But some of them, of course, are taking the piss. But now we've gone through the team Ferrari, what about the two drivers for 2020? Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel. How are they going to do? And what exactly can we expect from the two drivers in 2020. Well, first we'll start off with Sebastian Vettel. Now, Sebastian Vettel, as we all know, since really 2018, has continued to regress. And that is not going to be any different in 2020. And I think not massively, but in every area, once again, he will continue to regress. I don't think Sebastian Vettel pace-wise over a single lap can match Charles Leclerc anymore. Maybe in the race he can, but in qualifying, I just don't see how Sebastian Vettel has that killer speed anymore. I don't think Sebastian Vettel either is going to be very racy and going to be overtaking a lot in 2020. It's just going to be a slightly worse version of himself from 2019. And I think the best way to describe Sebastian Vettel going into 2020 and how he will be 
is that there will be races where Sebastian Vettel is back to his peak. Or at least is showing you what he can do when he's at his best. And you'll think, there he is. Sebastian Vettel, the four-time world champion. We know he can get the job done. And that he is still one of the best drivers in Formula 1. There will be, again, an odd race here and there where he does that. But then there'll be three or four races in a row where you'll think, how on earth was this guy a four-time world champion? That, I think, is really the best way to describe how Vettel is going to be in 2020. And I think, without a doubt, he will be Charles Leclerc's number two. Sebastian Vettel is simply someone who cannot be relied upon anymore as a number one or an equal number one at Ferrari. And I think, to be honest, this is his last season as a Ferrari driver. I just don't see any future for Sebastian Vettel at Ferrari at all. He's had his moments, he's had his chances, it's time to go. But with Charles Leclerc in 2020, I think the opposite will happen. I think in every area, he will make progress. It won't be massive progress, but you will notice him be better in all of the different areas you've got to be great in. Such as overtaking and defending, pace over a single lap, pace in the race, managing tyres... All of that important stuff I think Charles Leclerc will improve upon and make a step in. And I think without a doubt Charles Leclerc from the first race will be the Ferrari number one. Because if we look at his form at the end of 2019 or at least in the second half of 2019, he was clearly faster than Sebastian Vettel. Vettel's form did improve but again Leclerc was clearly faster. And I really don't see why that form won't just carry over into 2020 as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if by say race 5 or race 6, Charles Leclerc is quite a bit ahead points wise of Vettel in the championship. But the problem for Charles Leclerc in 2020 with his ambition that I know he has of possibly going for the world championship in 2020 is that the team he races for just isn't capable of giving him that. Charles Leclerc in 2020 could be at an absolutely immense level and his team will still ruin it. Which is why even in the Drivers' Championship, as I said earlier, I don't think Ferrari stand a chance. Not because the drivers are not good enough, it's because the team cannot supply the drivers with enough to go and win it. And no matter how good Charles Leclerc is in 2020, he will not be competing for the World Championship. Which is sad because if Ferrari were performing how they were, say, two or three years ago, I think Charles Leclerc really could, in 2020, go for the World Championship. But I just don't think that's possible. But for both drivers in 2020, even if they're better or worse, they both have a pretty big handicap for this season. And that is, again, their team. Meaning that essentially Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel, no matter how well they do, are driving essentially with one hand tied behind their back. Because somehow, some way, Ferrari will not do them justice. But hopefully I am wrong. But guys, let me know in the comments section down below for Ferrari in 2020. Do you think things will improve? And if so, let me know in the comments section down below. But also, for every race and part of the season, again, in a fan fiction type of way, you can make it as funny as you want if you want to. Let me know. What exactly will happen for Ferrari in 2020? And let me know as well how you think both drivers will get on in 2020 as well. But that is it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And as well, don't forget to smash the like button for more content like this as well. And until my next video coming next week, which is a video talking about how Max Verstappen and Red Bull could be ready to go for the World Championship in 2020, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.